is a bit of a speculation, but I kind of wanted to add something uh, a little bit that maybe wasn't like a no-brainer. But it's a Earth 2 number 19 in a 9-8, the first appearance of Val Zod, Superman. So, you know, DC is just, I don't know what they're doing, but I just think it's a, almost a crime that they haven't come out with, like, self-titled Val Zod books. Like, you know, this book came out in a similar time to Miles Morales, and there's been, like, a ton of Miles Morales self-titled books and they're, they've given Miles Morales such a push in the comic books and now he's in pop culture and all these movies. Whereas Val Zod, I feel like, really cool appear first appearance in this one. Yeah, I think he's very likable and they just like acted like he never existed and there's no Val Zod, you know, self-titled book. Like, I don't know what the hell DC is doing, but they're just missing out on a huge opportunity here. Uh, but I think, you know, because of that, it keeps this book kind of cheap. And um, I think it's a really good speculation because, you know, essentially if they sort of, with Superman, you know, did what they did with Spider-Man, with Miles Morales, if they kind of brought in Velzad and gave him a big push, I feel like pop culture would love that. And uh, this book would do so much better in that kind of situation. But I don't know what the hell DC is doing. Yeah, I, j I can't believe they haven't had... Valzad in way more books and and yeah like I said a self-titled Superman Valzad book is like I just can't believe they haven't done that uh, but a pretty great collector item on this one yeah maybe it's a little bit low, lower printed this Earth 2 19 I'm not too sure I wasn't really collecting during when, when this book came out I'm not too sure how uh, popular it was but uh, 141 9.8 in the blue label 42.3 percent the 9.8 ratio so a 1 of 141 is a pretty great one. Uh, this is one I did overpay for during the pandemic, pretty much. <laughs> I think I paid like 275 or something like that. But uh, I think right now, I saw one sell for $162. And I think anywhere from 150 to 175 is really making sense on this one right now as a good spec that has some future potential there. Yeah, and like I said, DC just, hopefully, you know, they need to get their act together. This is... A, definitely an opportunity missed, I think, where they should absolutely be pushing Velzod in the comics way more, and then that could lead to a lot of, you know, um, uh, maybe Velzod being in pop culture. And Marvel did it with Miles Morales. I just don't know why uh, DC's not really doing it with uh, Velzod. 